a DJ once jumped into water after he lost his records. It was actually winter, it was minus eight or something. After a long party, we left and he skipped his record back from the bridge into the water. Shall I mention the name? <laughs> actually, it's Francesco Delgada, and we call him since then Francesco Del Aqua. <laughs> I'm Gregor. We founded CDV in 2001 and Hopper Tosse in, we took over in 2013. I still uh, do all the bookings. I'm still passionate for music and always looking for the best sound. Uh, my name is David. I started here in 2006 as a boat builder and then later on I continued in uh, CDV. Uh, also set up an event agency with other boats and venues. The first time I saw the boat, it was on the other side of the harbor, laying there. They just brought it there. The upper deck was cut off, like so I saw the under deck, and you know, it was quite impressive actually. And then to see the second floor built on top of it again, it's, that's a massive boat here. It's, it's going to be fun. Yeah, I really liked it because it's an amazing view here and actually my home harbor, <laughs> let's say, yeah. The main problem with taking over a boat is that it's not supposed to be a club. In the winter it's in the water, so it's really hard to heat. In the summer it's still in the water and it's really hard to cool. And then also there's a um, problem with the height of the room. To put a proper sound system in here is challenging because when it's empty you have a complete different sound um, experience than when it's full because the room around the people gets smaller. So you need like a setting that is somehow in between for a full and an empty club. The condition of the boat is also quite important that you have something which is uh, not too rusty maybe. You need your permits and electricity is important. The boat is moving, it's a moving part and then you have a cable that is basically needs to be stabilized so that's the challenge of electricity going on board and then also water going in and out of the boat. So this is obviously the hopper tosser and um, we'll start going on the former foredeck which was not covered originally, we covered it. I think this is one of the best views in Berlin that you can get. In summer this is a, also a bar, we have a bar here and then a tent set up and more tables. Over there you can see the Badeschiff and this is the arena which is a big event space. Here we are in the main floor. This is the entrance, you come in, you have the bar, nice bar around, DJ booth, chilling area. And that's the dance floor. And that's our new sound system, which is custom made for us. It's made from a guy in Slovenia. I like uh, his approach because uh, the way he builds speakers, it's like coaxial speakers in, uh, up front here. And he has like an idea of a very round sound, which is quite fat, but still very defined. This is our downstairs floor. So now down here on this floor it's different. This is not a custom-made uh, sound system for us. It's like uh, more like a patchwork and uh, by try and error system, I'd say. Yeah, that's how you do it. We have like the DJ booth in the back, which brings us to a situation where we could install four of uh, good bases over here. On top we have in the corners also some old d b speakers, which I really love. They're very well built. I think it's always good to combine things and see what's working. Especially for places like this, which yeah. are not normal, acoustically perfectly That's set right, up. That's right, actually, yeah. If you want to start a business like that on a boat, it's very important uh, to check out the spot where you are, neighbors, because you have the problem with sound on, on water, travels a lot. I mean, back in the days in Berlin, there were many more spaces used for, for clubs and venues and everything. But I think the sound problem with neighbors really pushed clubs further and further away. 
So I think the sound issue is the most important. So make sure that you don't have very close neighbors next to you. Otherwise you need to soundproof the boat very properly, what we also did. To choose the right promoter for a party on the boat, or even for CDV, it's like a process which we started more than 20 years ago. Timetable is important, and of course, first of all, you choose the artist, and then also the timetable, who you put when. Each promoter also does that, right? Of course, like, uh, like of each, course. each promoter builds their own party, even though it's maybe not a long, long, long set, but it's still setting a mood by putting a DJ in the right space, in the right spot.